Hello there guys, it's Max so Diddly here and today I am here with another Java tutorial to help you get that A in your practical exam. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to check if the user input is a word. So you may be asking user to input their name and in most case scenarios a name only is going to contain letters. So you want to make sure that the input only has letters in it. If someone calls themselves Billy Bob 123 you don't want that because obviously it's an invalid name. Now a username is a dis different case but we're on about actual names and just if you want the user to input words not numbers or special characters in that case. So let's get right into it. So first we're going to make a string. I'm going to call it string input if I can type today and we're going to call it um, duck. Not call it duck, we're going to set it to duck, sorry. Now we're going to have a very, very quick method. So we're going to do public static boolean. So it's a boolean method again. We usually use boolean methods as we can use it to return a true or a false, which is really handy for validation. We're going to call it is word, and we're going to take string in. So what does this do? Well, it's a, it's a public boolean. Um, we called it is word, and we're taking in one string, which we're going to call in as our local variable. And in will take the value of whatever input is. So in this case, in takes the value of duck. And we're going to have one line of code again. So yay, we're going to do return. If I can type return correctly. Pattern dot matches brackets a to z a to z close brackets plus then we're going to do um, a thing no brackets there silly me comma then we're going to do in there there and we need to right click on pattern and and click on fix imports as we'll be importing uh, a util library a regex pattern I won't go into what that is but basically if you know memorize patterns you can do some really quick validation. So what does this line of code actually do? Return means it's going to return a true or false to whatever the method's called. Pattern.matches. Basically, we're using the pattern class and we're using the matches method. And we're, ch we have, we're getting the string. And we're checking if the string matches a certain set of rules which a pattern says. This pattern basically saying, if the pattern, no, no, if the string which we are testing, in this case duck, only contains characters from A to Z in lowercase and A to Z in uppercase, then return true, otherwise return false. So let's go through this. Duck, as our string in, would return true, as everything in the string duck follows the rules of this pattern. All the characters are between A and Z, and uh, for both cases. And all the characters here are A and Z and are in both cases. Say if we had lowercase duck, by the way, it would also be true, by the way. Say if we had duck123, this would be invalid, as clearly duck itself is fine, as it's either uppercase or lowercase, which is what this pattern allows. However, 123 is not in the pattern and therefore would return a false. It's kind of hard to get your head around and I'm not going to explain everything about patterns because we don't need that for the exam. We just need to be able to know how to use them because it can make validation so much quicker. And in an exam, you want to be quick. And also using this just makes the examiner happy. It's like, oh, this person knows how to use patterns and rejects and all that kind of thing. So it's all good. Now we want a little if statement to, so we can output to the user if it's valid or not. So we're going to do if is word input, then we're going to have our curly brackets, we're going to do our else, then we're going to have our other curly brackets, we're going to do j option pane dot show message dialog, we're going to do null, why do these all keep popping up, I hate the automatic adding of codes sometimes by NetBeans, we're going to do invalid, we're going to close our bracket semicolon, and we're going to do the similar thing here, j option pane dot show message diet dialog if i could type today want to do null invalid i meant valid what what oops 
Oh my god, I can't type. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. By the way, I already had the library imported from the start, so that's why I didn't fix imports. So, what does this do? Well, it's an if statement, and we're calling the method is word, and we're passing in the value of whatever input is, which in this case would be duck123. So, if this becomes true, then we're going to execute this piece of code and say valid. If it's not true, which means it has to be false, we're going to execute this bit of code and tell the user it's invalid. So I've already gone through how the method works, so let's just um, let's just test it in action, shall we? We're going to click run project, and it's going to be invalid because duck123 does not match this pattern, as 123 is not in the range of A to Z for both cases. Wait, I said Z before. Why if I changed how I said it? I, I don't know. Now, let's change our input to duck. Let's see what that happens. By the way, it should be true. And it says valid. Why? Well, because duck is uppercase D and lowercase uck, and that fits the pattern of being A to Z for either lowercase or uppercase. So that's all for this tutorial. Um, I hope this helps. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if it did. If you want any help or confused about something, then leave a comment. And also, why not share this tutorial with your friends so you can all we can all get A's together. Anyway, um, thanks for being a great audience, and we will see you next time. Goodbye.